What's up, Propel Church? My name is Brittany Shurrock, and I have the honor and privilege to serve here as one of the KISS coordinators at Propel Church. We are so excited you have decided to join us for 21 Days of Prayer. Today's prayer focus is on identity. Do you ever ask yourself, who am I? I remember when I graduated college, I didn't know what I wanted to do with my life or for my career. I knew I wanted to go to college, but I didn't even know where. I started to ask myself, who am I? What do I want to do with my life? I began to place my identity in trying to be someone that I wasn't supposed to be just by watching my friends and what they were doing with their lives. We tend to place our identity in in what we do or things we, that we love, or we even allow what people uh, think about us to define us. We often try to find our identity in things like money, what we wear, our jobs, our cars, and even what we think or believe about ourselves. If we find ourselves saying things like, I am not good enough, I am not loved, I am not worthy enough, it's a good indicator that we're putting our identity in the wrong source. Our source of identity comes from our relationship with Jesus. His Spirit affirms us. Our sense of self, purpose, worth, and values are rooted in our Heavenly Father. Everything we do should be rooted in Christ. And this is what Scripture says. Romans 8, 16 through 17 says, For His Spirit joins with our spirit to affirm that we are God's children. And since we are His children, we are His heirs. In fact, together with Christ, we are heirs of God's glory. But if we are to share His glory, we must also share His suffering. Come on, everybody. That is good news. Paul tells us that as Christians, we are God's children and heirs to His kingdom. What we do, what we've done, and what people say do not get to define us because we've already been claimed. So the first point I have for you tonight is only the one who gave you life can define you. Things in this world are temporary. They are not our true and eternal identity. When our identity is rooted in Christ, our past is forgiven and we are loved and accepted by our Heavenly Father. Finding our identity is an ongoing journey of seeking, knowing, and surrendering to God's love, truth, and guidance. Today, focus on praying for understanding of who you are and for your ability to live life from sonship or daughtership. Let's pray for our identities to be rooted in Christ.